Hey, this is Stuart with Panther Ridge. Uh, today we're going to show you a drill called a box drill. And basically what this is, is if you have two targets in front of you, you put two of the chests in one target, two of the chests in the other target. Then on that second target, you go up to the head, put one in the head, and then go back to the first target and put one in that one's head. Uh, it serves a couple of purposes. Um, just for manipulation and transitioning between targets, it's good. It makes you think a little bit. It's two in one, two in another, head, head. And then for an actual direct practical application, um, if you have two threats in front of you, uh, you're going to want to take out both threats as quickly as possible. So if you put a pair in the chest in one, that's, it's reasonable to move on to the next in order to eliminate all the threats in the lowest amount of time. But that first threat may still be standing, so you'll have to go back and hit that one in the head again. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate a box drill for you guys real quick. Alright, right. you're going to call it out. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Alright. You want me to say it again then? No, you're good. Go ahead. Get ready. Stand by. Box drill, target three and four. Alright, move up to the ten. All right, box drill, two and three. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate um, the basic, basic motions of a transition between a primary and secondary weapon. Uh, shooting, 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 click. So, no longer firing. So first, um, let go of the weapon with your firing hand, hold on with your support hand, sweep, to the side. Well, it depends on what kind of sling you have. With this type of sling, um, a two-point sling, it'll slide around to your left or your weak side. And as you're sweeping with your left hand, your right hand's coming down for your draw, breaking retention on your holster, firm high grip, obviously. Bring it up, hands meet in the middle, and come forward with your, with your uh, presentation. Finish off your targets. Alright, so we set up a, a drill here. We intentionally um, arranged the ammo to demonstrate a transition. We'll do a box drill. Um, I'm going to run out of ammo and I'm going to transition to finish out the drill. Alright. Stand by. Box drill, target one and five. Alright, so now I'm going to explain the reasoning behind transitions. And by that I mean transitioning between your primary weapon system and your secondary. Um, a lot of people say if you're firing your primary weapon system and it goes down, either it goes dry or malfunctions, that it's faster to sling it and draw your secondary. For me that's never been faster, maybe for some people it is, but the reasoning for me is it comes down to uncertainty. If you're shooting your primary weapon system and it stops shooting, it could be a malfunction and that malfunction could clear in one second or it could clear in 30 seconds or 10 minutes if you have the exactly the wrong kind. Um, but you know your secondary is good. Of course it only applies when you're about 25 meters or closer to your threat because obviously if you're fighting someone a couple hundred yards out, uh, it's going to be a much better idea to duck down and fix your primary than to try to lob some some 9 mil at him. Um, so it's uh, the standard operating procedure for just about every U.S. special operations uh, element is from 25 meters and in, if your primary either runs dry or malfunctions, sling it, draw your secondary, and uh, finish off the threats. All right, so Nick's got this course of fire set up for me that's going to involve the probably some box drills, maybe a transition, um, and well, along with 
a lot of other techniques that we teach here at Panther Ridge. Um, it's going to involve moving from 100 yards to close, so there might be some cover involved. I don't know. Let's see. I'm wearing this uh, helmet cam too, so hopefully you can get a good view from that. Alright, cool. Stand by. Alright, close the gap. Target one, target one. Double feet, double feet, fix it. Good hits, all right. Close the gap, close the gap. Come on, come on. Get up. Target five, target five. All right, close the gap, there's cover up there. Tactical reload. Take cover. Stay down. All right, target five, target five. Target four. All right, let's move. Target three and four. Reload! Reload! Target two! Target two! Target two! Target one! Reload! Reload! Target five. Target one. All right, index. So what do you think? You had that double feed. Did you induce that double feed? No, I didn't. Uh, well, good training then. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? Good course. Yeah? I liked it. Yeah, I... Uh, I think I could work on my draw a little bit. Um, Sorry about yelling reload. I should have uh, yelled transition. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I dropped my mag out of my primary. I didn't have another mag to reload too, but uh, I picked up the transition okay, so. Yeah, it was good. Good job, man.